Welcome, Welcome back, back to the Cruise Brothers React. React. I'm Johnny. And I'm Chris. And we're back for House Paradise, episode two, reaction. They're always telling stories. <laughs> I think I'm do this every start of the episode. This man was telling a story before he got beheaded. <laughs> it probably wasn't an uh, important story. Oh, oh it was a request. Father. He asked for something. How are you going to ask for something when you're about to die? Well, he asked to tell a story before he died. That was his request. Uh, Yo, they cut his head off while he was talking. They probably, like, he probably sorry. was the one that told them about the elixir life. Maybe. That's weird. That's creepy. He That's crazy. Called. His butt. <laughs> That's a crazy ass story. <laughs> Her father must be nasty, yo. She was, ever since then, she practiced on beheading people in one hit. As a little girl. That's her family's uh, legacy, man. They're sword testers mm -hmm. and sword users. The Yamada family, our clan. Damn, that shit sliced off right off like butter. I was clean, but was it perfect? She's probably like, I was a centimeter off. It was not the perfect blow like my father's. Shit, there's really an art to cutting off heads. It's crazy. The hell is that, a demon? The beheaded body of all the souls she killed. Oh, shit, is that her brother? What the hell is that? Look like Renji. <laughs> Another Yamada member. Remember, clans aren't necessarily all family, you know? There might just be other people in the clan. Nah, bro. If they all have the same last name, they're family. I don't get it. Okay, this, this shot is unnecessary. <laughs> she still has doubt and she fear says, in herself. Yeah, she says that because if she don't, doesn't get it perfect, then people will suffer, you know? Seems like we're getting her story this episode. Or are they not moving? Screening and choosing. Oh shit. This is the preliminaries. They got free. Man, they can't afford fucking bag mask or something. They put a piece of paper on their face. <laughs> these guys look like wimps. There's no way any of these guys have ninjutsu. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, they got they got bodies on their um <laughs> hands, Johnny. Some of them are just They're chill. definitely all killers. Like all the people who are not is. complaining are the are the real ones to look out for. Yeah, exactly. They're all criminals though. But you can see who the big time criminals are. Yeah, the ones exactly. that are fucking calm. An official pardon. <laughs> it's like the suicide squad, bro. They're all criminals trying to fight for their freedom. But in this case, it's for a fairy tale. Or a lore. Well, they do get their freedom if they get the elixir from. This motherfucker's happy to be here. I mean, you that should. Is, yeah, it should be no problem, but there's still something um, holding her back. She has morals, bro. Her belief in humankind. <laughs> this guy bad disrespectful. He's been sleeping. Oh, they know about him. Hey, man, you're not supposed to be looking. Don't sleep on him. That man is dangerous. <laughs> bro, he let them catch him. Yeah, true. She's always questioning how. You know that's, what it is? That's a it's, cool imagery. For I think her to she see had. That's I, in her sword. I think this girl struggles with just killing people in general, so she always tries to justify what how evil they are. The fuck happened to him? That's the evidence. And you know what's interesting too about this uh, expedition that they mentioned briefly? Not only are the dangers are the people, the the island itself has dangers. Yeah, because no one knows how we came back like that. What the fuck? That looks Holy crazy. Shit. Damn, 60 members are missing? He's still alive? I thought look he like died. A life you live. <laughs> Damn. That man does not look like he's blessed right now. All right, see, now they're starting to get scared. <laughs> <laughs> they could deal with all the murderers, but what the fuck is that? <laughs> Yo, see, it's... And this is supposed to be paradise, quote unquote, you know? This guy's an idiot. Shut up. Someone died. It's interesting because this place looks like heaven, but there's probably mad crazy things that can kill you there. Has no one ever questioned the elixir yes, being there? Uh, bro, they're sending all these people there on a mission to retrieve an elixir that nobody's been able to retrieve. They don't even know if this shit exists. This guy looks crazy with his tats. Damn, and anybody who disagrees gets killed on the spot. <laughs> that guy was cool, man. Look at his back. Anybody who tries to leave the island will be killed. Oh, one of these guys, the Yamada clan. Yeah. I guess the girl's going to go with our main character, Gabi Oh, Maru. this is cool. They're going to have, like, uh, security guards on the island. If they try to escape, they get killed. 
Bro, that puts these guys at nature too, standing on that island. And these guys don't play, man. They can all cut heads off of clean like butter. They've all trained. Damn. Damn, that's crazy. So they have to have their monitor. So that's in just in case they try to kill their monitor, you know? That's not fair. Wait, do they all individually have a monitor or are they all a part of like a group? Or like in charge of a group? Because it looks like she's specifically in charge of they him. Got, they got their own monitors. You said it. Yeah, I guess everybody has their own monitor. But it looks like there's more criminals than the fucking Yamada people. Oh, oh they're yeah. going to make them do a battle royale. No wonder. Preliminary, you see? Yeah, that's why it didn't make sense why there was more criminals than the auditors. They got to test them and see who's the best. You can tell all these nobodies are not going to make it. There's a couple of... Oh, shit. Like this guy right here. He's making it, Johnny. Damn, he just strangled that man like it was nothing. Why is there always a Bakugo character in this show? That guy look cool, man. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> They're really just killing each other. And this guy's hands are tied and he's just... He strangled one person and rocked another one. <laughs> and they can't even untie their hands. <laughs> Yo, what is happening? This is insanity. This is going to be cool to see some of these people fight. See what they're capable of. Damn, that's a big boy. Yo, the less detail... Damn, need to bro, the listen, neck. bro. The less detail they have in their face, the less likely they're going to live. And they're on a peaceful ass beach. <laughs> Behind these walls, there is a massacre going on. <laughs> I'm interested to see what's going on on this island, you know, because they they described it as paradise, but. Yo, he said he. <laughs> Damn, you saw like the, the girl do a backflip? Yeah, see, this is a free for all. It's not like the best is going to come out of this if they don't let them fight eat fairly. Oh, okay. Some of them have actually abilities. Damn, all the... Re they even fucking been stamped. So there are more people with special abilities. Yeah. Konoichi. Cool. Female ninja. Damn! <laughs> that guy got picked up with his whole Yo, body! He he's is using him as a bat, bro. He is not a towel, bro. How is he handling him like that? The most notable, Gabimaru. He's not even doing nothing either. Yeah, that's how you know he's hard. Anybody who's not moving right now is hard as fuck. <laughs> I'm, I'm more surprised that no one tried to attack him yet. She better prepare yourself. Yo, she really has a problem with death. And I think this guy notices that. Yeah. It's interesting because her whole thing as her uh, her job and her family is to kill without like no hesitation and that's a problem for her. Well, not really because it's kind of a sign of mercy, but I think the idea of taking someone's life in general is painful. That's he has flies, bro. And that's where they're coming from. All the bodies they're dragging out in the Yamada clan. This, this is, is a, a gruesome life. Yo, this is a crazy thing to be exposed to as a kid. The Yamada clan literally prop prospers off of death that's their way of that's life. their job bro that's their family's job why are they throwing stones at her they labeled them as murderers too that's some bullshit bro that, if the yamada clan was that fearsome they would not be getting bullied like this <laughs> they wouldn't let their kids get bullied yeah, yeah, like yeah. this the reflection in the sword she can see people's death she can see her own fear too the truth is reflected that's a kind of cool uh, concept with her sword reflection They've established the basis pretty fast in the show. So I hope it has an interesting development process. Oh my god, this idiot. <laughs> she about to show how she does. She just gotta think back to those times where she was bullied. This is her fate, man, to become an executioner. It's that doubt creeping up again. Whoa, whoa! Damn. Yeah. Yo, she has someone tell him, tell him. Oh, he said that to her now. Damn, Damn. A murderer told him that. Oh, he said that to him. That's, <laughs> she crazy. <heard> it. <laughs> That's crazy for him to come, come up, um, speak out on that. Wow. He said, we're all, we've all killed, but we all didn't want to kill. Seriously, you guys should fucking agree with him. So you guys could fucking all revolt and like. They're sheep, bro. All they do is take orders. They're pawns in the system. If they all would agree not to fight, then they wouldn't have to. And then they couldn't do anything about it. They're just like following the system. 
They don't like thinking for themselves. Well, you made your choice, man. Now you're dead. And he's letting you know right now. He's giving you a cha a choice, bruh. Damn! Whoa, with his fist, bruh. With his he fist? He sliced his neck with his fist. Yo, wait. Wait, they didn't do anything to you. <laughs> wait well, a minute. That's it, man. They all want to the fucking challenge him. That's crazy, bro. He's just really killing oh them with his hand. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, he is a savage. He just bit that guy's neck. This is what these fools Yo, wanted, right? They broke out of the little ass circle or the square that they were in. Fighting in the water now. Dang. Yo, how much This man is killing him easily. A true killer. That's the guy whose request you just denied. He could kill all of you guys right now if he wanted to. What was his nickname again? I forgot. Dabi Maru the, the hollow, hollow yeah. yeah. That's the hollow. Damn. The same. That's person, interesting. Yeah. I like that. They have similarities, her and that kid and that boy. Word. They have this sense of doubt about themselves. Their sins burden them, man. They both have those uh, burdens of killing people and not really wanting to. One is on the side of the law, the other is an outlaw. But they both experience the same regret. So cool that they literally have their own fucking babysitter each. What a shitty mission to send these Yamada clan members on. We're yeah, here. We're finally here at the island. The paradise heaven. Shinsenkyo. This is not a paradise, bro. People are fucking dying out here. There is no danger. Bro, bro you okay. kidding? <laughs> Having that, uh, you know, stuff with the, um, the girl and the guy in their their more deeper conflicts within themselves it makes the show has that extra factor to the show because right now what i'm getting from the show is just kind of like that plot line or like the the concept of what we're what we're doing here is if these these criminals are being sent to the island and blah blah, blah all this stuff like that but then you get to like in the back the background about like kind of like the self-development going on the depth of the, the depth of the characters yeah around the plot Right, and so far, I've only got that from two characters in the show, you know? Mm -hmm. I hope they do dive in maybe to some more, uh, you know... Oh, well, um, a lot of these adapted. characters seem like they're going to be main. Yeah, you know? yeah, obviously, we got introduced to all these characters for a reason. I'm sure they're going to give us some more depth to all of them, but, you know, I want to see some more depth to other characters besides our two main characters. All I know is that this episode was also very entertaining. I like this even more than the last episode, to be honest. Uh, so I'll probably give this episode a 4.5 seven out of five yeah i really i really enjoy the Edo period slash uh hunger game slash feel we're getting in this uh this show it actually feels kind of fresh for an anime um i don't know when's the last time i've seen like kind of like a battle royale kind of i know I've, i probably have seen one but i don't remember the last time i've seen one and yeah this is definitely getting me excited for what's to come so yeah i'll give this episode a 4.7 as well and we'll see what happens in the future Thanks for watching, guys. Engage with the video. Plus to our Patreon under our premium star tier if you want these reactions in full length exclusively on our Patreon. Pledging to Patreon is how we continue to put out reactions every single day, guys. So consider supporting. We'll see you for the next episode of Hell's Paradise. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves as always. And peace. peace.